Welcome to the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. You're about to see our emergency evacuation video for this venue. Your full attention is highly appreciated. We are now in the Grand Ballroom, located at the east wing of Level 3. There are six exits towards the front of the house and three exits to the back of the house. If there is any need to evacuate the hall, please use the nearest exit door. For those who exit through the front of the house, please proceed along to the pre-function area towards the emergency staircases. For those who exit through the back of the house, please proceed along to the back lane towards the emergency staircases. Descend the stairs and leave the building. Follow the perimeter road until you reach the KLCC Park, where our assembly area is. Please stay calm. Our staff will assist you to get there. We would like to inform you that this is a non-smoking facility. The smoking balcony is located at the end of Level 3 East Wing. Thank you for your attention.
Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Chairman and Board of the British Malaysian Chamber of Commerce, may I wish everyone Salamat Pagi, a very good morning, and a warm Salamat Datang. Welcome everyone to this BMCC luncheon with their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. On behalf of the British Malaysian Chamber, the British High Commission, and all Malaysians, allow me to express our utmost heartfelt appreciation to their Royal Highnesses for honoring us by gracing our luncheon today. We are truly privileged to be part of the Diamond Jubilee Tour as part of the year-long celebration of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, lunch will be served shortly. It is my pleasure now to call upon the Chairman of the British Malaysian Chamber of Commerce, Yamabhagya Dato Larry Gunn, to present his speech. Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the British Malaysian Chamber of Commerce, welcome to this most auspicious occasion. And to our royal guests, Selamat Datang ke Malaysia. What a magnificent year it has been so far for Britain and Malaysia. A year when we have received several visits by senior UK trade and defence ministers, and not to mention the British Prime Minister himself, the Right Honourable David Cameron. It is a year that has seen victory in the Tour de France, a phenomenal performance by both the organisers and athletes of London 2012 Olympics and the Paralympics. And only on Tuesday, Andy Murray, who ended a long wait by his Grand Slam win at the US Open. The British Malaysian Chamber, the British High Commission, and the people of Malaysia are now hugely honoured and excited to be part of the Diamond Jubilee Tour, celebrating the reign of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. 60 years. I suspect the majority of the people in this room I suspect the majority of the people in this room were not even born 60 years ago. It is a very impressive tenure. This puts Her Majesty alongside King Bhumipal of Thailand as the longest serving living monarchs in the world. During her reign, the world has seen much change and evolution. The Britain of today is most certainly very different from the 50s when the Queen ascended the throne. The same can be said of many other countries, Malaysia included. The ability to move with the times and changes has been one of the enduring hallmarks of Her Majesty's reign. As those of you who witnessed the spectacular celebrations in London to mark the Diamond Jubilee will know, during these 60 years, the Queen has engendered tremendous respect and loyalty among her subjects. In 1998, we were honoured to welcome the Queen on what was her second visit here to open the Commonwealth Games. Malaysia then had just entered a new e era of economic development, with a number of nation-building projects coming to fruition. A world-class airport with a high-speed rail link, new ports, new highways, the high-tech multimedia super corridor, and the development of Malaysia as an education hub much of which saw the involvement of British firms. The ties between Great Britain and Malaysia are many, long and strong. Physically, our two countries are of similar size, and we each have an equally long coastline, making the sea a strong feature in our history and trading routes. On land, in trade, education, language, even our common habits of drinking tea, and more latterly, the love for sports, 
there are strong links and close affinities. Against this background, the British Malaysian Chamber, first formed nearly five decades ago in 1963, has worked to help foster those links. Our connections on both sides of the world have forged an important bridge for interests to grow, trade to flow, and opportunities to bloom. During the recent Olympics, hundreds of people were fortunate to have the chance to meet the royal couple in their role as ambassadors for the Games. Now, as part of the Diamond Jubilee Tour, we here in Malaysia have the extreme honour to meet them too. Your Royal Highnesses, we trust that this visit, the first of perhaps many, many more, will give you both a brief insight into the Malaysia today, vibrant and colourful, a country that is going places, with warm, friendly people who work hard to, to secure a better world. We hope this first taste of Malaysia will feature in what is already an unforgettable British summer. A big thank you to our event sponsor, Standard Chartered Bank, our venue partner, KL Convention Centre, Yakimbi for the assistance in the cultural tour, and the BMCC executive team.